Okay, describe the use of each of those parts. Well, uh, while I draw it out, let me tell you a very short story. Uh, if you leave an atomic absorption spectrophotometer on accidentally and then go and have lunch, it'll catch fire and overheat and leave big black stains on the ceiling. If you ever go to the University of Eastern Anglia, you'll see that. So that's a monochromatic light source. I put mon, I'm so silly. That shoots out light of one specific wavelength. The fuel and oxidizer, probably oxygen, and the sample are put into the atomizer, sometimes called the nebulizer. Then you've got to set that on fire to get a flame that the light beam will actually intersect with. Now some of that light's going to be absorbed by your sample, by the metals in your sample, and detected at the monochromatic detector, which only detects one wavelength of light, hopefully the one that you shot out from the monochromatic light source. That then goes to a readout where you can interpret your data or produce a calibration curve like I've just done there. 